John Gruden praises Carl Nassib, what makes a man different is what makes him great. Carl Nassib is garnering support across the NFL after becoming the league's first openly gay active player. The men who lead Nassib's current club are among those providing encouragement. Las Vegas Raiders coach John Gruden offered his support as Nassib enters his second season with the club. I learned a long time ago what makes a man different is what makes him great, Gruden said, via Vincent Bonsignori of the Las Vegas Review Journal. Likewise, Raiders owner Mark Davis backed Nassib's courage in coming out during Pride Month. These are personal decisions, the owner said, for Ed Graney of the Review Journal. It's 2021 and he's a Raider. If he's happy, I'm happy. It takes courage. I thought we got to the point where this wasn't. It doesn't change my opinion of him as a man or as a raider. Nasib announced he was gay in a social media post Monday, making NFL history. I just wanted to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay, the 28-year-old defensive end said on Instagram. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but finally feel comfortable getting it off my chest. I really have the best life, the best family, friends and job a guy can ask for. I'm a pretty private person so I hope you guys know that I'm not doing this for attention. I just think that representation and visibility are so important. I actually hope that one day, videos like this and the whole coming out process are not necessary. But until then I will do my best and my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting and compassionate and I'm going to start by donating $100,000 to the Trevor Project. They're an incredible organization, they're the number one suicide prevention service for LGBTQ youth in America. Nasib, a third-round pick out of Penn State in 2016, played for the Cleveland Browns and Tampa Bay Buccaneers before joining the Raiders last season. The outpouring of support flooded Nasib's way following his historic announcement. From NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to former Penn State teammate Saquon Barkley to star defensive lineman J.J. Watt and many others. Nasib's courageous announcement is the first and largest stepping stone in the NFL, and the sporting world at large, on a path toward openness, acceptance and equality. For that, he will be forever cheered. Carl Nasib, a defensive lineman with the Las Vegas Raiders, became the first active NFL player in league history to announce that he is gay. What's up, people, Nasib said Monday in a video on Instagram. I'm Carl Nasib. I'm at my house here in Westchester, Pennsylvania. I just wanted to take a quick moment to say that I'm gay. I've been meaning to do this for a while now, but I finally feel comfortable enough to get it off my chest. Nasib, 28, has played five years with three teams and is entering his second season with the Raiders. He said in a statement accompanying the video that he had agonized over the decision to announce he was gay for 15 years. Nasib added that he was a private person and wasn't seeking publicity. I just think that representation and visibility are so important, he said. I actually hope that one day videos like this and the whole coming out process are just not necessary. But until then, I'm going to do my best and do my part to cultivate a culture that's accepting, that's compassionate. NFL Commissioner Roger Good allotted the announcement. The NFL family is proud of Carl for courageously sharing his truth today, Goodell said. Representation matters. We share his hope that someday soon statements like his will no longer be newsworthy as we march toward full equality for the LGBTQ community. We wish Carl the best of luck this coming season. The defensive end was drafted out of Penn State by the Cleveland Browns in the third round of the 2016 NFL Draft. He played for the Browns from 2016 to 2017, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2018 and 2019 and was signed by the Raiders as an unrestricted free agent on March 23, 2020. Nasib said he was donating $100,000 to the Trevor Project, a suicide prevention and crisis intervention organization for LGBTQ youth. He wrote in his statement that it saddened him that LGBTQ youth are at an elevated risk for suicide. Amit Paley, CEO and Executive Director of the Trevor Project, said the donation will help scale up crisis services. The Trevor Project is grateful to Carl Nassib for living his truth and supporting LGBTQ youth, Paley said in a statement emailed to CNN. 
coming out is an intensely personal decision, and it can be an incredibly scary and difficult one to make. We hope that Carl's historic representation in the NFL will inspire young LGBTQ athletes across the country to live their truth and pursue their dreams. At a time when state lawmakers are actively trying to restrict transgender and non-binary youth's participation in school sports, this news should serve as a clarion call for greater LGBTQ inclusion in the locker room and on the field. Nasib's decision can have profound impact, LGBTQ organization says. Jason Collins, who became the first openly gay NBA player when he suited up for the Brooklyn Nets in 2014, was cheering Nasib on social media. Very proud of Carl Nasib. Incredibly happy for him and can't wait to watch him play this upcoming season. He tweeted. Tennis legend Billie Jean King tweeted her support. The ability to live an authentic life is so important, she wrote. Glant president and CEO Sarah Kate Ellis said Nasib's announcement was a strong message. Carl Nasib's powerful coming out is a historic reflection of the growing state of LGBTQ visibility and inclusion in the world of professional sports, which has been driven by a long list of brave LGBTQ athletes who came before him, said Ellis in a statement. As an accomplished athlete who is now the first out gay active player in the NFL, Carl Nassib's story will not only have a profound impact on the future of LGBTQ visibility and acceptance in sports, but sends a strong message to so many LGBTQ people, especially youth, that they too can one day grow up to be and succeed as a professional athlete like him, the statement said. Penn State head football coach James Franklin said his former player had a huge heart. I am very proud of Carl for his courage and voice. This announcement doesn't surprise me because if you know Carl, you know his strength. Carl's story continues to add chapters which will have an impact well beyond the field of play, he said in a statement. His care and love for those around him, particularly those in need, has always been obvious. Carl's brave announcement will forge a path for others to be true to their authentic self. The Raiders also tweeted they were proud of Nasib. Pro Football Hall of Famer Warren Moon added to the chorus of people proud of him. And the former NFL and CFL quarterback added that he played with some guys who were gay, but didn't feel comfortable coming out. As long as they helped us win and were great teammates their sexual preference was never an issue, he wrote on Twitter. We live in a different time now where diversity is much more accepted. Cheers Carl, and I hope this lets other athletes know, it's okay to say who you are. Nasib says players' support helped him in his Instagram statement, Nasib thanked family and friends. He also thanked the league, his coaches and other players. I would not have been able to do this without them, he wrote. From the jump, I was greeted with the utmost respect and acceptance. Nasib wrote that he was standing on the shoulders of people who paved the way. I do not know all the history behind our courageous LGBTQ community, he said, but I am eager to learn and to help continue the fight for equality and acceptance. Michael Sam came out before 2014 draft. In 2014, Michael Sam became the first openly gay player to be selected in the NFL draft when the St. Louis Rams chose him in the seventh round as the 249th overall pick. The Rams cut Sam just before the season started. Sam signed with the Dallas Cowboys practice squad but never was on the active roster. He was cut after six weeks. In 2015, he appeared in one game with the Montreal Alouettes of the Canadian Football League before leaving the team. Other NFL players have come out after they retired, including former Dallas Cowboys linebacker Jeff Rohrer, who married Joshua Ross in 2018.